Okay, so we're gonna go quickly through this protons, neutrons, electrons, average atomic mass worksheet. Okay, so scandium, symbol for scandium is SC. When it's written like this, it, this gives you the atomic mass. So the atomic mass is 45. We're gonna go to our periodic table and scandium, where are you at scandium? It's so right here, it has atomic number 21. So your protons, is 21. Your neutrons is going to be 45 minus 21, which is 24. And your electrons is going to be equal to 21. And so you notice that there's no charge on this, so we don't change the electrons. Gold, symbol for gold is AU. It gives us the mass is 197. So gold has an atomic number of 79. So your protons are 79, your neutrons, and your electrons. So uh, your electrons are also going to be 79. Your neutrons are going to be 197 minus 79, which is 118. Okay, antimony, symbol for antimony is SB. Okay, it gives us the mass is 122. SB is right here, it has an atomic number of 51. Okay, so your protons are going to be equal to 51. Your neutrons and your electrons are going to be equal to 51. Your neutrons are going to be 122 minus 51 is 71. Okay, so next one, radium. Symbol for radium is RA. Okay. Um, its atomic number is 88, so it's right here, 88, and its atomic mass uh, is going to be 226. Okay, so if it doesn't give us the atomic mass like in these three examples, then we're going to assume that it's what it is on the periodic table rounded to the nearest whole number. So protons is going to be equal to 88. Your neutrons is going to be 226 minus 88 is 138. Now your electrons. So this has a plus 2 charge. So it has a plus 2 charge, so that means that we uh, lost 2 electrons. So 86 minus 2, it, I mean 88 minus 2 is 86. Okay, telluride ion. So telluride is Te. Okay, it's right here. It's in the minus two column, so it has a minus two charge. Its weight is 128 and 52. Okay, so your protons, neutrons, electrons. Okay, so your protons are gonna be 52. Your neutrons are gonna be 128 minus 52, 76. And your electrons, so it, has a negative two charge, so it means it gained two electrons, so it's gonna have 54 electrons. Okay, so this says calculate the average atomic mass for the following. So it says naturally occurring chlorine um, is 35 is the atomic weight, and it, the percentage is 75.78. Okay, and then um, you have 24.22% of it occurs at chlorine that has an atomic mass of this. So it says calculate the average atomic mass. So what we did is we took the mass, we multiplied by the percentage. And then we took the mass, and we multiplied by the percentage. Make sure we move our percentage two decimal places to the left, okay? So we multiplied the numbers, 34, 0.969 times 0.7578, 26.4995, and then we did 36.966 times 0.2422, and you get 8.9532. And then we're going to add down. Okay, so you get 
27 AMUs, and that's really close to the mass of chlorine, you know, so you did it right. Um, so this has been the protons, neutrons, electrons, and average atomic mass worksheet. Hopefully you understand this pretty well by now, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks. Bye.